guidance for drivers and those wanting COVID vaccinations. Governor Phil Murphy says local and nationwide weather conditions are causing delays with the supply chain. Morning long, loading up trucks. This is probably the second or third round of trucks that we've seen come through this facility to get more salt to get out there and spread on the roads. They started this operation around eight o'clock this morning and they will continue as long as they have to. They know this is going to be a snowstorm over a long duration, so they're ready to do everything they possibly can to keep the roads clear. Once again, they're reminding people make sure you stay off the roads allow these folks to get out there and do their job with so much winter weather in a short period of time the salt supply has been stretched to the limit here in essex county they have resupplied so they're ready for another round of snow we have four salt homes they're all full so we're ready there uh what we have to do and we're also we want to be there to help our municipalities making sure that their roads are safe also the wintry weather which moved into the area is expected to make driving conditions worse as the day goes on that's why crews have been salting as quickly as possible knowing that the roads will quickly become a major concern at least 92 motor vehicle accidents were reported this morning and the ban on commercial trucks is in effect but there will still be truckers on the roads making important deliveries because we are moving as the governor said um, important material whether it be vaccines whether it be medical supplies whether it be food it is not an entire ban on trucks governor murphy says mother nature is making up for lost time this month unless there's a reason for you to be out on the roads do not go out just stay in stay safe stay warm but all this bad weather is impacting the COVID vaccine supply chain, which was already fragile. Supplies headed to Jersey this week were stuck in the Midwest and South after those regions were hit with wicked winter weather. Those doses haven't arrived, and that is setting back scheduled appointments. In this event, we're making preparations to use existing inventory to satisfy current appointments. However, not all sites may be able to do this. And this may result in many appointments needing to be rescheduled. Yeah, and here in Essex County, they're rescheduling appointments to the weekend. Now, as far as the snow that's falling over here, it feels like it's starting to get a little bit of a mix. So that's going to make the situation a little bit more treacherous out there, especially if you add some freezing rain or ice into the precip. So do be careful out there if you have to get on the roads. But as the governor said, and we've been saying all day long, Please stay off the roads. Allow these crews that are working hard right now to get out there and clear the roads. And remember, this snowstorm is going to last for a long time. That is the latest live from Verona, New Jersey. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Great advice, Anthony. Let's head over to Westchester County. We're also seeing dangerous conditions on the roads there. We showed you this at the start of the show. Take a look at this video. A car sliding out of control flips over. Uh, you're going to see it happening in a second since I'm discussing it. And, you know, fortunately, uh, we were told that the person was not seriously hurt. But we're going to check in right now with Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis, who's live there with Mar Marcus. And Mike, uh, Dave, Yonkers is known as the city of Seven Hills. There are more than that, of course. These are just a couple of them. And you can see that they are a little tricky to navigate uh, as you come down. Uh, the snow uh, has continued to accumulate. They are trying to plow, stay ahead of it. But one driver found out the hard way just how slippery conditions can be. This is the aftermath. A Honda wheels up after it overturned just after 10 this snowy morning. The driver didn't want to speak with us, but was not hurt and managed to free himself from the vehicle before firefighters arrived. This is surveillance video of the car sliding down Gavin Street into an embankment and flipping over. This morning, snow causing slippery conditions despite the best efforts of plows and salt trucks. It didn't take long for snow to accumulate on major highways like the Springbrook Parkway. In Yonkers, 75 crews are trying to keep the city streets passable using a full arsenal of equipment. We had 22 large trucks out. We got 11 small trucks for the dead ends. We got a new truck that we bought last year, which is a large dump truck with a wing plow. And uh, one of our roll-off trucks that just spread salt so we can 
go for hours spreading salt. And so the of so many public works departments preparing for not only an all-day effort fighting the snow, but through the night and into tomorrow. And we're live in Yonkers, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Marcus. Coming up, protecting against COVID.